Okay, this is just a quick video to have a look at what you can do if you're starting to get style sheet issues in um, Elementor. So essentially you can see what we've got here. I'd created a custom header and it all looked fine and then some uh, plugin updates have happened. I think what actually happened was um, Elementor Pro, the plugin, didn't quite update properly and now we've ended up with this issue. So you can open it in a incognito window and you can still see it's like that. And the actual issue is essentially we've got here, you can see it saying that it's a um, like a HTTPS error calling out to the style sheet. Um, but you can see the, the style sheet is actually available there. It's just um, it, for whatever reason, it, it can't sort of access it. So what we're going to do is just jump into the back end of the site. Um, I mean, I can quickly show you where this was. So if we go into save templates published, just this one here, the header is, um, it is broken. So if we come in. And you can see here, this is sort of what it should be like. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just come out of there. And then if we go to Elementor and then we'll just jump into tools. And then you can see here we've got um, regenerate CSS and data. If we just hit that and then it says it's done that already. If you're running um, cache plugins or anything like that, make sure to clear those out because um, you might not be seeing the latest version of the site if you're not doing that. And then with any luck, when we come back, you can see that um, the, the header part has actually disappeared. And <laughs> although that seems wrong, in this instance, that is actually correct because the, um, the menu in, in this site at the moment is hidden because um, it, it's essentially just a registration site with no other pages. So going in and doing that has, um, has actually fixed the header and you should be able to see if we go to the console you can see that we we've got just like a kind of clear console now and there's no errors so just regenerating that css has essentially just fixed the header for us so if you find you've got broken parts of pages it might be page content it could be header footer anything like that you can come in and just regenerate those files and and that should just fix all of that for you like i say it happens sometimes on um you know if you move on to say like a, a test site it might happen if a um a theme update happens or a plugin update but it's a quite a quick and easy fix so um, yeah give that a try if you if you're having that issue and that should fix that for you so yeah hopefully you found that helpful if you have give the video a like um, if you've got any questions just drop them in the comments and if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe